important stuff. And I just wanted to um, give you some information on how the events today have unfolded. Um, so what we have found out that yesterday we have on camera footage that at 841, uh, both inmates, both incarcerated individuals were last seen on camera footage. Um, this morning at 1115, we were able to clear the, we were not able to clear the 11 o'clock count. It was determined that James Lee could not be accounted for. An emergency count was approved by myself and that was at 11.45 a.m. Um, at 12.19, we, we manned the escape post and, not and notified OSHP. 12.24 p.m., we notified County, Allen County Sheriff. At 12.27 p.m., we notified the Lima PD. And then at 12.45, it was determined Bradley Gillespie could not be located based on a picture count. At 1.02 p.m., local law enforce, enforcement, including OSHP, were on site. 2.17, the first press release was sent out to the media. So, what we have found out is that there is a discrepancy in our count issues. Um, we do have, at Allen Oakwood Correctional Institution, we do have a local policy that does... Um, state that we do seven formal counts throughout the 24-hour period. Um, those counts are at 9.30 p.m., 12 o'clock a.m., 2 o'clock a.m., 4 o'clock a.m., 6 o'clock a.m., 11 o'clock a.m., and 4 o'clock p.m. And 4 o'clock p.m. is a standing count. Of course, this is issued a, this has raised a discrepancy and an investigation is ongoing at this point. Pass it over to Lieutenant Dennis. All right, thank you. Uh, it's Lieutenant Nathan Dennis with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Uh, so just to give you an update on uh, the circumstance surrounding uh, the investigation into this, obviously the investigation is ongoing. Uh, we're continuing to uh, get leads, uh, not just in Ohio, but we are receiving leads in states surrounding Ohio uh, on the potential whereabouts of these suspects. Uh, we are continuing to look into those leads. Every one of them is being investigated as they come in. Uh, so with that, you know, we can't confirm that they are still in Ohio, but we also cannot confirm that they, they you know, are not in Ohio. So um, at this point, um, again, we have the tip line set up uh, for anybody that may have information about this or if you see them. Again, a reminder, if you do come in contact with them at any given time, where you believe that you may see them, do not approach them, but contact 911 immediately. Uh, if we need to note also that the uh, US, United States Marshal Service, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, and the Allen, Allen County Sheriff's Office has put together a $21,000 reward uh, for anybody that has information that leads to uh, the capture of these suspects. Uh, so anybody that may have information leading to uh, yeah, may have information that they want to provide with investigators. They're encouraged to contact the Ohio State Highway Patrol Finley Post at area code 419-423-1414 or the United States Marshal Service at 1-866-4-WANTED. That's 1-866-4-W-A-N-T-E-D. Uh, so at this time, I'm going to pass it off to the sheriff uh, just so he can provide information locally for the uh, residents. Sure. Thank you, Lieutenant Dennis. Uh, as everyone said, obviously, uh, there's, there's a major time lapse here that we're going to have to uh, deal with. Uh, and it was 8.41 a.m. in the morning, uh, yesterday morning. And uh, after confirming this, uh, we cannot confirm or we cannot deny that they are in or out of Allen County at this point. But we are working on leads well away from Allen County. Uh, I think all the residents of Allen County should stay vigilant vigilant and be very cautious and aware of everything that's going on. I'm going to meet with my staff and, and everyone and discuss uh, schools for tomorrow morning. We're going to be discussing this at 5 a.m. Uh, on what to do, depending on what comes in tonight and what leads we can follow up on. As soon as we can confirm that they are not no longer in Allen County or near Allen County, we will, uh, we will get that out to the public and uh, we will get that out to the uh, school superintendents to decide whether they want to have school tomorrow or not. But we are working around the clock on this. Uh, the uh, Everything's going to be set up all night long, and we'll be taking tips all night long. So if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you see out there that might be out of the ordinary, please call 911 or the Sheriff's Office line at 419-227-3535.
And uh, once again, like I said, we're not confirming or denying they're not here, but there is a time lapse, and uh, I can't imagine them sticking around here too much longer if they were going to be here for that long. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoever wants to, we like to talk. Uh, just to talk about, so are we talking about over a 24 hour discrepancy right now? The, Do we know how long they were gone before you knew they were gone? Yes, there is a discrepancy in how long they were gone before we found that. That's an investigation that is ongoing at this point. What's your best estimate of how long Head Start they had? Well, the last time we saw them on camera was at 8.41 a.m. yesterday morning, and we found that they were missing at 11 a.m. count today. So that's 27 hours, roughly, by my bad math? Roughly by your bad math. Okay. All right. Any uh, idea how they, did they have help getting out? Did anybody help them that's still in there? So again, that's part of the ongoing investigation. You know, what's important right now is that we locate them. So our efforts are being, you know, focused on the capture of these suspects. At the same time, we are still investigating and going through the process of trying to figure out how this escape occurred. Uh, and we will continue to do that. And once they're captured, we'll obviously uh, focus all of our attention onto that, that uh, reason as well. Uh, but for right now, what's important is that we, we try to locate these suspects. It's also important to know that uh, you know, the, the facility is secure. The warden has said this, the facility is secure at this point in time. Uh, but again, uh, if anybody has information uh, leading to uh, you know, the capture of these suspects, uh, there is that reward that's being offered by the patrol, the marshal service, and the sheriff's office, uh, as well as these clip lines. Please, if you have any information, Please call those two clients and give us that information. Is it the assumption these guys must have split up? Do they know each other? And, I mean, it again, doesn't we're following, stand the reason they would split up, right? That's right. Again, we're working on investigating it. We're following the leads that we're getting. Uh, all the leads that are coming in, we're investigating and looking into them. Uh, and again, we're, we're doing everything we can right now to try to locate these suspects. We're working with uh, you know, local officials as well as uh, the United States Marshal Service, the FBI, uh, and then the state police surrounding us. With the, uh, especially with uh, the Gillespie, was the family of the people that he murdered, were they notified? I mean, can you talk about that yes. at all? Yes, we, we notified the Office of Victim Services to make those notifications by, I think it was 12.36 p.m. today. Okay. It should be noted, obviously, uh, we've had no uh, major crimes uh, in the last 30 hours here in Allen County that to speak of. Uh, Nothing that would cause any alarm that the, that they're hold up here anywhere or doing anything uh, specific. So, like I said, once again, we can't confirm or deny. However, uh, things do point that they may or may have moved on from here, and they've had enough time to do it. There was a situation in Delphus earlier. Was that related to the search? No, I don't believe so. I, I can't I, I can't confirm anything earlier, even after contacting our dispatch, that any of that was had anything to do with this case. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, in regard to any more media updates, until we have more information, um, it's probably, well, it won't be tonight that we provide anything else that something drastic changes overnight. Um, check back. Watch the Twitter feed in the morning. Um, check back with us in the morning. We've I've spoken with PRC. We're going to get a, a media release out um, with this updated information we just provided. And then again in the morning, if there's no real new information, we may just update that release again and give that to you. I'd probably like to do something in the morning for the school situation. Sure. And uh, I'll let you guys know, or Victoria will let you know. Okay. If we get no new information, until I can confirm they are out of here, I'm going to we're gonna follow that all night long. I'm going to put it out well before school starts. That way they can decide what they want to do. And I'll probably, if we have no new information, probably just shut them down as far along as we are. There's really no reason to take any chances at this point. Right. But I would like you guys to be involved in that and let sure. them know. Sure. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, yeah, let Victoria or somebody give me a call. Yeah. We'll get it. Gotcha. You have your phone? Holly said you didn't have your phone earlier. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw my email. Yeah, we. I did. Yeah.